Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We're going over what's going to happen to this place in the future. We're going over prophecies right now. You understand? We went over history a little earlier. Y'all was a little late for that. But now we're going to go over some prophecies. Read. Psalm chapter 91, verse 4. Come on. Oh, yeah. He shall cover thee with his feathers, uh -huh. and under his wings okay. shalt thou trust. His troops shall be thy shield and uh huh. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, uh -huh. nor by the arrow that flieth by day. So what's the arrow that's flying by day? We read about it in Peter's. Anybody was listening? The missiles. Those are the arrows that's flying. Read. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in dust. Nor for the pestilence, the coronavirus. But you know what? Jump back up to the top. I missed something in there. Read. He Listen shall cover, bro. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Who was the he in this in this uh scripture? Who was the he that's gonna cover you? God. Right. God is gonna cover you. Read. With his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. Uh huh. His truth. His what? His truth. His what? His truth. Read. Shall be thy shield and buckler. So a shield is designed to do what? Huh? Protect. Everybody agree with that? So it says his truth shall be your shield. What is the truth that's going to be the shield that's going to protect you? When the pestilence comes, when the flying arrow comes. Huh? Right, but okay, that's good. Psalms 119, you right there. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Come on. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. His righteousness is everlasting, read. And thy law uh -huh. is the truth. And thy what? Thy law is the truth. Thy what? Thy law is the truth. So remember it said his truth is going to be your shield. So when you walk in his laws, that's what's going to protect you when the, when the coronavirus comes. When it, when it comes seriously, when the missiles that's designed to come that God prophesied, right. his laws is what's going to protect you that's when those things come. Now go back to Psalms 91. Read. Psalms chapter 91, verse 5. Come on. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, uh -huh. nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Jump up to verse nine, uh, 4 again. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, uh -huh. and under his wings shalt thou trust. Come on. His truth. His truth. What is the truth, bro? The, what did the Bible say the truth was? Stay with me, bro. What, huh? Read, read it again. Psalms 119, verse 142. Hey, what, what was the, what was the uh, shield? The laws, right? Read it. Okay, go back. Go back to the Psalms. She says the truth. You understand that, bro? The laws is what's going to protect you. Read. His truth. His truth, which is the laws. Read. Shall be thy shield and buckler. Which is going to design to protect you when you walk in his laws. Read. That's right. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. And when you're walking in his laws, you are confident when all these things happen that you're going to be taken care of because guess what? That is designed to protect you. When you, when you step forth in the judgment, when he opened the books and say, hey, look, how you, you did you walk your life and design it in my laws? If it says, yeah, then you protect it. You understand that? So you'll be confident in knowing that you protect it when you're keeping the laws, all right? Because it, it said that it was going to what? His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Come on. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. The terror by night, read. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor for the nuke ICBM missiles that's designed to come, read. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for none of the, 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 the disease that, that, the, uh, that our enemy put out here, the so-called white man, read. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Read, you heard that? Nor for the destruction that's coming to happen. The Lord is telling you that when you walk in his law, statutes, and commandments, that's what's going to protect you. So when they come, you're good. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. But when these nuclear missiles come, you're going to see a thousand people get put to death on your side. Read. And ten thousand at thy right hand. Ten, no other thousand on your right hand. Read on. But it shall not come nigh thee. But it what? It shall not come nigh thee. Why shouldn't it come nigh thee? Because you keep it a word. You agree with that, brother? What about you, sister? Read it again. She ain't hear you. But it shall come nigh thee. And but it shall not. Read it again from the top. But it a thousand shall fall at thy side. So a thousand. Remember, we're talking about the destruction. So the thousand people are gonna die on your on one side. Read. Right. And ten thousand at thy right hand. Ten thousand at your right hand. Another people gonna be dying. So it's gonna be people. It's gonna be people getting put to death all around you. That's right. Read. 
But it shall not come nigh thee. But you're going to be walking securely. Right. Okay, you're going to be walking securely, read. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold. Only with your eyes you're going to behold what? And see the reward of the wicked. And see the reward of the people that don't walk in the truth. The reward of the people that not keeping God's commandments. You understand? That's what's going to happen to our people. But if you're keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, you're good. Now hold that. Give, is that it? Is that more on there? Read on. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, uh -huh. even the most high, thy habitation. So brother, you understand what's coming out? You understand what's coming out? To keep God laws is what's going to save you from the destruction that's to come to this place. You understand that? But now we got to go over a few laws. All right? Give me, uh, give me Timothy's. First uh, Timothy's chapter 2. Hey, sis, where you going? Stay with me. We got to go. We we got to go with some more laws to eat right now. You're spiritually eating. Right, come, come, come get fed right here with from the word of God. Read this. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Come on. In like manner also uh -huh. that the women adored themselves in modest apparel. Read. With shame faceless. Come on. And sobriety. Yeah. Not with broad hair uh -huh. or gold or pearls or costly array. Uh-huh. But which becometh man professing godliness. Read it again from the top. In like manner also uh, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So in like manner also that women adore themselves modestly, right? Read. With shame faces. So how do you adore yourself modestly, sis? Huh? I don't know. So the Lord is telling you to, uh, to conduct yourself modestly. It is a certain way you must dress. Read. That the woman adore themselves uh -huh. in modest apparel. Come on. With shame faces. Read. And sobriety. Uh -huh. Not with broaded hair. Not with broaded hair. So they got to be sober manner like we read in Titus. And they got to adore themselves in modest apparel. Okay. Meaning that their clothing should not be showing off their curves. They got to be. Right. Because that's for your husband at home. You understand that? So no man is supposed to see how your buttocks is designed. No man is supposed to see how your hips is designed. All right. Read. These are ways on how we must conduct ourselves because you got to teach it to her. She's the next generation, but you have to do it first. That's you understand? Right. You right. brothers have to get right first. That's this is what, because remember we read that the Lord is calling the man first and foremost. You understand that? That's so right. you guys got to take control of your household. Read. That's Not with broaded hair. Uh-huh. Or gold. Come on. Or pearls. Uh-huh. Or costly array. Not saying you can't dress nice, but you can't let it make up who you are. Read. But which becoming woman professing Godliness. So you got to profess godliness how through your actions. You got to talk right. about it. You got to be about it. Right. This is what God, this is what's going to save you from the destruction that's coming to this place. Right. Read. With good works. With good works. You understand that? Being in the keeping of God's laws. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth